Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we will learn how to install a new operating system that is Ubuntu, that is Windows Ubuntu operating system. So it is based on Linux, but they have made it look like uh, Windows. As you can see on their website, Ubuntu also known as Windows Ubuntu is an operating system that inherits all the appearance and functionality of Microsoft Windows, including the new Copilot Assistant, but does not require TPM, Secure Boot, or any other hardware requirements for its operation. It is developed by Ubuntu Operating System as a base. You have a fast, secure, and very efficient system. You will also be able to run Microsoft Windows and Android applications using Ubuntu. So they have a free and a paid edition also. Uh, we will download uh, the free edition and we'll check how it looks like. And I'll click on download free edition. So here they have three versions. Ubuntu Plasma, that is for Windows 11 theme. Ubuntu Cinnamon, that is for Windows 10 theme. And the last one is Linux FX Red Sand. That is a Linux based operating system, but this one does not have uh, any icon theme or Microsoft products included, but it can run EXE and .MSI programs normally. And if you check their system requirement, that is very low. A two gigahertz dual core processor, two GB RAM, 25 GB of free hard drive space, internet, and a DVD drive or USB port. And if you talk about uh, uh, the one which is for Windows 10 theme, that just requires 2 GHz processor or better, 1 GB system memory. However, 2 GB is recommended, 25 GB hard drive space. And same with this uh, Red Sand, it requires 2 GHz dual core processor, 2 GB RAM and 25 GB hard drive, but 4 GB is recommended. So first we will be installing the third one and I will be creating three different videos. I will give the links of all videos in the description. So we will start with the download of their ISO file. Simply click on download. And from here we will download the ISO file. You also have a readme file. You can read that. I'll just click on download latest version. And our download has started. If you click the down arrow, it shows the download, which will take about 15 minutes or so. So just let it complete. So our file has been downloaded. If you click that down arrow button, we will see the Linux operating system ISO file is ready and now we can set up a virtual machine for this operating system so I'll just open my VMware and here we will click on file new virtual machine leave it like that and click next then click next again don't change anything I will install the operating system later that should be selected and here we will select Linux and leave it on Ubuntu and click next. You can name it. I'll name it Ubuntu. Click next. And the hard drive space I will increase to 60 GB and click next. Click on customize hardware. The memory, uh, I will leave it like that. Up, uh, I mean, 4 GB is sufficient. Processors, I will increase the number of cores per processors to two. And select new CD, DVD. Here we will select the second option. Use ISO image. Just click on browse and locate your downloaded file which is in our download, that is the image, click open. And now you can click on close. And click finish here. 
Okay, we have our Ubuntu virtual machine created. Now we will power it on by clicking power on this virtual machine. I will just maximize it. So press F2 to select a language. We'll select English and press enter. Now let's just wait. After waiting some time, you will get this screen. Double click on install system. And simply follow on screen instructions. It says, Welcome to Linux FX 11.4.4 installer. So simply click next. After selecting your language, and then select region. So mine is already selected, then click next. Then keyboard layout, English US is good for me. So click next. You can leave everything like this here, where it says select storage device. Make sure you have your VMware, your virtual drive selected and then select the option erase disk and then click on next anyways there is nothing in the uh, selected drive you can give it a name that would be the username i'll give it a name ubuntu now type a password Retype the password. Now, if you want, you can put a check in the box, login automatically without asking for the password. So it will not ask you for a password. But I will not recommend that because if you have typed the password, so it would be good for you to keep the password. Otherwise, you will forget it if you want to use this operating system for a long time because if you boot the machine and it does not ask you for your password but the password is there so there'll be a time when you will forget this password so leave it like this and click on install now just give it some more time let it complete So the installation has been completed. Now we will click on done and computer will be restarted. We don't have any installation media connected. So we'll press enter and it will restart. Now just type the password you have created and press enter or click login. We can close this. Now just right click on uh, the desktop and click on configure display settings. And from here we will select the resolution that is 1920 by 1080. Click apply at the bottom and then click OK. Just click on keep and click OK. So you will have a full screen desktop. Click on start, then click on system settings and just run this MS Windows support run.exe MSI. 
why do we need to inst uh, run this? Because this option will automatically install some tools and libraries in the Microsoft env environment so that you can run most Microsoft Windows platform apps. So click on advance and just wait. Then click OK. Now I'll just close this. So that's it in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. You have a great day. Bye-bye.